This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And syempre, napakadali rin mag-sign up since you can just sign up using your social media account or Google account or manually uh, sign up sa kanilang website. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. And yes, there are a lot of payment options using your credit card, debit card, via PayPal account or uh, if you have a PayPal account like uh, mine, yun yung gagamitin natin. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan at nandito ulit tayo ngayon para sa isang motherboard topic. So syempre, it's a motherboard uh, buying guide again. Pero yun nga, uh, it's more focused on the motherboard. Wala kayong makikita ng fancy uh, B-rolls here. Uh, pero in terms of technicalities, marami kayong matutunan. Um, it's just medyo compressed yung topic. I keep it short and simple kasi medyo hindi ganun ka interesting para sa lahat pero if you, uh, you are interested in terms of technicalities of motherboard then this is one of the videos that you may consider so we have here the MSI MPG Z490 Gaming so syempre dahil nagkakaubusan na ng mga processor ngayon love it or hate it of course you also want or you will have the interest na magpabuild din ng Intel and this is a perfect video that you may consider Feel free to subscribe dahil marami pa po akong ilalabas ng mga videos about Intel builds and of course, uunahin mo natin itong Intel motherboard. Couple of USB ports, Type-C, and then at the same time, meron na rin dito yung kanyang Wi-Fi uh, port kung saan mo ikakabit yung antena at saka syempre yung kanyang audio jack so nandyan lahat uh, mayroon din siyang display port and hdmi and of course a ps2 port if uh, you have still those uh, legacy product and then moving on to the motherboard itself there's nothing fancy in terms of aesthetics it's not uh, like the other motherboards of the competition uh, from the other brands na may mga uh, kakaibang mga design pero with this even the chipset medyo very plain matte finish lang yung kanyang chipset and then meron lang siyang heatsink for the M.2 slot. And then of course before we will be talking about the uh, power design is uh, uunahin muna natin yung mga iba pang mga parts like the uh, headers. Uh, marami siyang fan headers which is I really appreciate dahil halos lahat na sa gilid. Merong uh, dalawa sa pinaka bottom side and then sa may pinaka right side merong uh, apat which is uh, dun sa top is uh, optional for the pump and of course the real deal in terms of this Z490 gaming edge Wi-Fi is the yung kanyang power delivery so it comes with this 8 plus 4 design and ang maganda dito is yung kanyang implementation in terms of layout makikita natin dito that it comes with this uh, uh, equal or even uh, faces dun sa kanyang top part at saka dun sa kanyang left side part. Pero ito yung maganda dito mga kaibigan because for the first time this is the heaviest passive heat sink na na-encounter ko dito sa aking channel sa mulat sa pool na nagre-review ako because MSI use this huge heat sink that it comes with around uh, around uh, 200 plus grams. So ito yung ginamit niya dito. Kaya din na rin tayo magtataka mamaya mga kaibigan dahil yung kanyang benchmark is sobrang uh, baba or sobrang bagsak for an 8 plus 4 uh, faces power design. Kasi nga sabi nga nila mga kaibigan, the more the faces is of course uh, the lesser the heat. The more na mas maraming magtutulungan. Pero eto nga mga kaibigan, dito na discover natin dito that it's not only that part na faces lang. It's even with the implementation of the heatsink or yung cooling system niya. Sobrang solid kasi yung kanyang pinaka shroud with the other brands they are using plastic and then yung heatsink is yung mismong uh, nakapatong lang dun sa mga MOSFET and uh, chokes. Pero with MSI, what he did in here is even the part ng kanyang aesthetics, yung extension 
is not anymore a plastic instead all everything is already aluminum so what you can see dito sa may uh, bandang kanyang uh, shroud dito sa taas is all aluminum walang plastic po dyan. solid po lahat yan yung extended part na aluminum po lahat yan so it's a really a very good move done by MSI in here to have a functional uh, aesthetics instead of having those kind of fancy RGBs only doon sa kanyang IO shroud pero syempre with that being said mga kaibigan benchmark won't lie syempre yun pa rin yung pinaka dapat na malaman natin is it effective is it really something that you would consider Ayan yung alamin natin mga kaibigan when we try to plug the Intel Core i9 and manually overclock it at a 4.7 GHz. Of course, there's no active cooling in this kind of test. It's an open test bench and we use the ID64 to check if this motherboard can handle the thermals of i9-10900K. And yes, mga kaibigan, out of the motherboards below $200 or the motherboards at an 11,000 more or less. And we found out in here, mga kaibigan, that the MSI Gaming Edge Z490 Wi-Fi is doing well over the competition at a more or less 11,000 motherboard. So, uh, makikita rin natin dito na halos uh, closely on par din siya with the motherboards at around uh, 20,000 plus mark. So, makikita natin mga kaibigan na kaya niyang sumabay. Kung cooling system lang ang pag-uusapan, kaya niyang sumabay. Well, it's not uh, the benchmark that will give you the bigger picture na ito na talaga yung pinaka the best na motherboard out of uh, the rest pagdating sa 11,000 more or less. Kasi nandyan pa yung mga Tomahawk, nandyan pa yung mga ibang motherboards na hindi natin naisama sa benchmark. Pero what's uh, important in here mga kaibigan is we found out na yung kanyang uh, cooling solution having that very good heat sink at the same time uh, more faces at an 11,000 more or less price point and at the same time Wi-Fi this gaming edge uh, Z490 gaming edge motherboard is one of the go-to motherboards that you really need to consider I think it's uh, even a better motherboard for me personally to choose over the uh, uh, um, other model na Tomahawk well the Tomahawk is really a very uh, good motherboard bang for the buck pero if I'm considering to have a Wi-Fi uh, connection or go to the uh, wireless setup of a connection in terms of internet then I should go for this uh, Z490 gaming edge Wi-Fi and it's even the cheapest uh, motherboard with a wireless connection. So, napakagandang motherboard. Very solid ang kanyang VRM. The temperature is so good. It's competing. Uh, hindi nagkakalayo uh, yung kanyang benchmark with those other motherboards at 20k plus uh, price point. Pero at least, uh, yun niya, tulad ng sinasabi ko lagi mga kaibigan, as long as hindi naghihit ng 85 degrees Celsius, a motherboard, regardless kung ano yung benchmark niya, is still a good motherboard kahit na uh, below 85C pero nasa pinakahuli naman sa listahan it's not considered not a good motherboard it's still a good motherboard basta nasa below 85 degree Celsius yan lang po yung lagi natin tandaan mga kaibigan and yes, feel free to subscribe dahil marami pa po tayong mga i-review motherboards we have here the Z490 Tomahawk of course, we are also Aying na magkakaroon tayo ng mga B550 Tomahawk and uh, Mortar Wi-Fi or other AMD motherboards in the next few days from MSI. And syempre, a PC build with the Z490 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. Abangan nyo mga kaibigan dahil gagawa po tayo with the Intel Core i7-10700K and at the same time, MSI RTX 2060 Super Gaming soon with deep call chassis and uh, deep cool power supply and uh, deep cool yun deep cool x msi pc build at a 70k more or less price point all right so mga kaibigan feel free to subscribe and yes comment down below kung may mga gusto kayong suggest na susunod nating motherboard na ifi feature dito sa ating channel